My connection to the Pine Grove community is spiritual. This is the place that gave me that sense of being, of who I am, and, and a sense of purpose. I am determined to preserve that legacy as much as the legacy of Pine Grove School. This is more than a building. Welcome to Pine Grove School. This school was founded in 1917. This was the room that we had our studies in. Mrs. Gillum would stand here at the blackboard. Attending Pine Grove School was an adventure. My siblings and I walked three and a half miles one way, and we picked up our cousins and friends along the way. When we got here, we usually lingered outside unless it was really cold and waited for Mrs. Gillum to ring the bell. And then you came in. We had a stove right here. I think the Pine Grove School and similar Tuskegee Rosenwald schools are so critically important because they are some of the first institutions that newly freed African Americans created. Fresh out of slavery, the first thing our communities did was to pool their resources together and build schools where their families could go and learn to read. Literacy was the goal. And so the Rosenwald schools in particular represent a moment in American history when Booker T. Washington and Tuskegee University came together to create a vision for black rural America, a vision of uplift rooted in education for everybody. I wanted to save the school, I think, before I realized it was in jeopardy. A family member, cousin, called and said, Muriel, did you know that Pine Grove is being auctioned? No, I didn't. But guess what? We're going to do something about that. Within a week, family had delivered, and we were able to pay close to $2,000 in back taxes. A month after that, we got a certified letter from Greenridge saying that they were going to be installing a landfill adjacent to the school. And so our focus changed from preservation to preservation and environmental justice. That was intolerable for us. We started going to the hearings that they had, first with the Planning Commission and then with the Cumberland County Board of Supervisors and raised lots of questions. The Cumberland County Planning Commission did not think it was a good idea, but the Board of Supervisors overrode the citizens, the taxpayers, the recommendation of the Planning Commission, and that's where we are. We are celebrating Juneteenth here in Cumberland, Virginia. From a past, rooted in pain, I arise. I love that the community does get together. I love that we are learning to support one another. We know that we're stronger together than we are apart. When you're dealing with a landfill, that is beyond development. It is something that is going to affect this area and the people that live in it for generations, for hundreds of years. That's not going away. Juneteenth National Independence Day. Ready to go. Juneteenth National Independence Day. Very good. It's definitely going to be detrimental to the community. For one thing, the road is being rerouted. So it won't even come in front of the school anymore, which is hard for me to even imagine. The school is named after that road. How can that road not go in front of it? I think the impact is going to be hundreds of trucks coming in every day bringing trash. And I just think it's something that they need to move on with and not come to come. So we are glad that you are able to come down and to share with us. Put yourself in the shoes of anyone that would be near the landfill. You probably wouldn't want it near you. 
and I understand that, and I think we all understand that. But the truth is, we all throw out our trash every day, and it needs a place to go. And right now, landfills are the primary technology that the United States has. We looked at many sites, and we took that circle of where we do business, and we tried to stay as close to the middle, and we approached many, many communities, and many, many communities said, no, we're not willing to host a landfill. And uh, Cumberland County said yes. I actually picked the wealthiest part of the county, and the demographics in our area are about 18% African American, which is about the average for all of Virginia. Environmental justice means you're not disproportionately picking on a community because they're at a disadvantage. And to tell you the truth, most landfills, most waste energy plants, most nuclear plants, that's how they were cited. And I can tell you with a pure heart in this situation, that's not what we did. Today we're at the Bright Hope Community Center in Cumberland County, and we are hearing from descendants and alumni and community members of the Pine Grove community about what we can do to save these important pieces of our black heritage in the state. This dude is important because it shows the generational uh, legal barriers that were put up to not give us a separate but equal education. That was how African Americans, by and large, in the rural areas were educated by rows and rows schools. So we can't let that be uh, disappear and be uh, covered over. It did happen. As we heard from many of the participants today, these schools were the anchor of the community, right? We had churches, cemeteries, and then these school buildings. And they really are the place where everyone came together. Everyone touched these places. The teachers influenced so many lives. And so for me, it's an opportunity to honor that tradition, but also to make sure that future generations get to learn from these stories. It represents so much more than this building. It represents all the quality people. Like I learned about Rosenwald schools back when I was in fourth grade and when I expressed to my uh, parents what I learned about, that's when I found out that my grandmother actually went to one of the schools and I was just amazed and it just piqued my interest for history even more and more and more. I would definitely like to see a museum, you know, them have pictures all over the place and make sure people actually learn about it. As a unit, when we stand together, we are stronger together. Amen. The lessons that we learned here at Pine Grove are being applied right now as we come up against Green Ridge and the county powers that certainly are in position of authority over what we're doing. But we will find a way to change things for the better.